welcome and thank you so much for joining us. Of course. We were just talking about how it's so great to actually have this conversation in person. Um, so it's great to have you here. Good to be here. So for starters, what is Thread? Tell us about the business. Yeah, so we started in 2015 in Provo, Utah. We're a lifestyle brand in the surf and skate industry. It's a little bit weird for Utah. It's not really <laughs> typical. But we sell accessories, so wallets, lanyards, bags, and a few other accessories. And, you know, that's what we do. Our mantra is carry on. So we help you carry your stuff while you carry on through life, through the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. Excellent. Well, I'm a real big fan of your vertical wallets. Um, Thank you. So, yeah, they're very cool. Um, so we're here to talk about NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. And we were just talking earlier about how we both love data. Um, and what I really wanted to know from you is what challenges did you face when you were mining, um, analyzing, and really trying to get the most of your data before implementing it into NetSuite Analytics Warehouse? Yeah, probably the biggest issue that we had was we had so many data flows and those data flows were coming in and we were combining data from different data flows. So when one data flow stopped working, which was pretty common, those were unreliable at times, suddenly all of our metrics were off. I'd get the marketing team coming to me and saying, hey, look how profitable we are. I'd say, well, yeah, actually your marketing or your ad spend's not pulling in. Yeah. So that was pretty unreliable and that just led to our customers just, or sorry, our employees, not even being able to rely on the data that we were giving them. Yeah, and I think, you know, this is something that we've really been talking about for the last few years, about how do we get data into a system, but how do we know it's right? And then how do we analyze it and yeah. get the most out of it for our teams? So um, how does NSAW really help you to solve those challenges that you were facing? Yeah, I mean, the pre-built pipelines are nice and they're very reliable. So we haven't had, I don't think, any downtime, which is helpful. And that's kind of just boosted, I guess, the credibility of the data that we're giving our employees. So they're actually able to use it when it's served to them. So I think that's one of the biggest things. It's helped us, that reliability has helped us kind of build a culture of analytical decision making. Absolutely. I think that's really key, you know, in terms of being able to use the data to get some actionable insight and make some decisions. Yeah. So tell us how you're actually applying NSAW to your business. Yeah, so the first project that we've been working on and continue to refine with NSAW is kind of a revamp or revamp, excuse me, of our sales and operations process. So Previously, it was really hard to get the data to all of our employees, all of the interested parties. And these people really include almost every, I mean, every department at least. Finance, sales, we have four different sales channels, uh, operations. And so we've used NSAW to show them, all of those different parties, customized dashboards for what they need. Mm -hmm. So our sales directors of each channel can go in and see how are my sales by this product type? How are my sales by this rep, by this location? And then make plans to make those, to bring those numbers more in line with their forecasts. Yeah. So it centralized that and allowed them to make decisions on the go instead of maybe like a month end report that I give them that's then maybe a little bit outdated and they're unable to pivot as quickly as they can. Yeah. So we've done that and it's with the sales and operations process just allowed us to bring in our sales piece and our operations piece kind of reduce barriers between departments and just get more in sync. Yeah, so with your sales teams and your operations teams having access to the right data, the yeah. same data, um, you know, looking at the same metrics, how does that um, sort of add value to your business? What's well, huge. I think one of the biggest issues that we've had as a company since inception, and I think a lot of companies are like this, you've got, if you have one department making decisions without informing another department, or at least not being informed of what that department's doing, you're just going to be left with departments maybe making the right decisions for their department, but not for the company as a whole. Yeah. So for us, we at times have struggled with our sales teams not being in sync with operations and either selling way too much that yeah. we're not be able, able to keep up with the demand or selling too little but we have too much inventory coming in and then suddenly we're having cash flow issues. 
Well, I think that's extremely powerful now that you have you know, the right data in the system um, and each team is able to collaborate and yeah. look at work together, which is extremely important. It's very helpful. Yes. Um, and what decisions have you been able to make or what major trends have you seen now that you're integrated with NSAW? Yeah, NSAW has helped us know where to double down on our efforts and maybe where to cut some of our efforts. So really just prioritization. We're easily able to see what product types are performing the best, what designs are performing the best, what sales reps, what locations. And I mean, one decision that's come out of it is we realized fairly recently that our phone cases just weren't performing very well. And we were able to do this across all channels. And so we made the tough decision to make the cut and to invest in other, sell or in other product types, excuse me. And so that's been really helpful for us. And I gotta say, one of the biggest things that's come of this is people looking at analytics that never looked at them before. So I've got my design team who's doing all the prints and stuff for our product, looking actively at what designs are selling the best and do, being able to do that easily so that they can tell, okay, well, florals are hitting well, we're gonna design more florals, or it's solids, it's stripes. And so that's really helped us in our design process as well. That's extremely powerful because, you know, you mentioned um, getting the marketing team to sort of look at the data and the metrics uh -huh. um, and having things like custom dashboards to really help people to be able to see different things, you know, visually, metrics, and it's able to help all the different departments. And I think one of the things you, you just mentioned about making a product cut by looking at the data that you have in NSAW, being able to make that huge decision um, is very, very helpful. It is. So finally, Mitch, um, what would you say to other customers considering NSAW? It's a good question. I, I would say if you're looking to break down barriers between departments, NSAW is a really great way to do that. Primarily because it's very user friendly. And so like I was saying, people that don't have that much of an analytics background are able to use it and still get value out of it, yeah. like we've been able to use. So I think that's one of the biggest use cases. So if you're having that problem, look at NSAW, I think it could help. And find a great partner to help with implementation. We worked with Myers Holm, who's here at the show, and they were fantastic. They were great to work with and you know, we've been able to move forward with the confidence that we have what we need. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Mitch.